Topic 6.3, Transcription. Here are some of the questions that we'll be addressing. Explain the overall flow of genetic information within cells. What are the principal forms of RNA and what is the function of each? Explain what happens during transcription. I'm Mr. W from learn-biology.com, where we believe that interaction and feedback is what leads to deep, substantial learning. We're so sure of that, that we provide a money-back guarantee that comes with your subscription. Explain the overall flow of genetic information within cells. This is the central dogma of molecular genetics, which is DNA makes RNA makes protein. Information flows from a sequence of DNA triplets to a sequence of mRNA codons to a sequence of amino acids. What is a gene? If you've been following this series, we looked at this slide in Unit 5, but now let's look at it again in the context of molecular genetics. A gene is the basic unit of heredity passed from parent to offspring. It determines a trait. In terms of molecular genetics, it's a sequence of DNA nucleotides that codes for RNA, which codes for protein. List the principal forms of RNA and describe the function of each one. mRNA, or messenger RNA, is a linear molecule and it brings instructions from DNA to ribosomes. rRNA, ribosomal RNA, makes up the catalytic part of ribosomes and binds amino acids together during protein synthesis. Ribosomes are these particles that are composed of rRNA and protein. We'll look at them in depth later, but they're essentially enzymes, and they're the enzymes that bind amino acids together during protein synthesis. tRNAs, transfer RNA, bring specific amino acid to the ribosomes, again, for protein synthesis. Small RNAs are a large group of RNAs of different shapes and sizes, and they're involved in eukaryotic gene regulation. What happens during transcription? Transcription is the creation of RNA, which we see over here in blue, from DNA. Every gene begins with a promoter region that indicates that that's where the gene starts. And during transcription, an enzyme called RNA polymerase binds with the promoter on DNA. Then it transcribes the sequence of DNA bases on DNA's template strand into a sequence of RNA. RNA polymerase, like all of the enzymes involved in working with DNA, reads the DNA in the three prime to five prime direction and synthesizes new RNA in the five prime to three prime direction. And when the RNA polymerase reaches a terminator region, which is at the end of the gene, it dissociates from the DNA ending transcription. Is AP Bio making you feel overwhelmed and inadequate? That's completely reasonable. At learn-biology.com, we understand why students struggle with AP Bio. The material is complex, the pace is brutal, and the vocabulary is ridiculous. But at learn-biology.com, we've created a way that makes it easier for you to study. Go to learn-biology.com, sign up for a free trial, and complete our interactive tutorials and interactive AP Bio exam reviews. We guarantee you a four or a five on the AP Bio exam. See you on learn-biology.com. Define and describe template strand, minus strand, non-coding strand, or anti-sense strand in relationship to RNA transcription. The template strand, it's this one over here in blue, it's also called the non-coding strand, the anti-sense strand, and the minus strand. That's what gets transcribed from DNA into RNA. The complementary strand to the template strand is called the coding strand. Why? Because you can see that it has the same sequence of nucleotides as the mRNA will. Here's the coding strand, G, G, T, T, A, A. Here's the RNA that's being produced, G, G, U, U. U substitutes for T in RNA, A, A. So G, G, U, U, A, A, G, G, T, T, A, A. It's the same. Why is it the same? Because it was created in response to this template strand over here. That's why the coding strand 
is called the sense strand or the positive strand. What are some unique features of prokaryotic transcription? Prokaryotes don't have a nucleus. There's no separation between the genetic material and the cytoplasm. As a result, in prokaryotes, transcribed RNA, which is shown here at D, can immediately be translated by ribosomes into protein. And that's what you see as these strands over here. Often, multiple ribosomes read the same RNA strand. These multiple ribosomes are sometimes called polysomes, and you can see them in a more zoomed in version over here. Want to learn more? Sign up for a free trial of the website that guarantees your AP biology success, learn-biology.com, and watch this next video.